yeah, here is the build. As mentioned, I do have Eclipse over Trinity's one. You're going to want to hold that down or reverse the hold order in your options tab. And yeah, get a nice little damage bonus. Energy Vampire largely unused, Link largely unused, Blessing is the big one. Technically, you could use Energy Vampire on the Voms and avoid Energy Pizzas, especially if you use, like, over, instead of Arcane Avenger, which doesn't work here, it's just my, my general use build. If you use Nullifier at rank 5, then you, like, never need to use Energy Pizza. I am using, uh, it might seem slightly weird, I'm using Adaptation and Rolling Guard, but I just find it's a really nice combo with Blessing, the damage reduction from Blessing, and um, yeah, it, it works well together. So Abating Link, again, is general use. Augur Secrets combined with Archon Intensify, which procs on every Blessing, get us up to the required strength for 75% damage reduction, Primed Continuity is sweet, gives us a decent amount of duration for us and our squad. Natural Talent is just insane cast speed for all of these. If you have two yellow shards, you don't really need it. You could replace it with like Champion's Blessing for, nat um, for natural use, yeah, for general use. Also, if you want to be a buff bot, then you can like total eclipse your squad, even with just, um, let's see. Let's see, actually. It's 140% power strength. Yeah, you need like 160%-ish power strength for 75% damage reduction. Um, that's why I have these in. So what am I saying? For general use, Champion's Blessing is also super nice. But um, I found a baiting link just better overall because it, it this is like endurance. Anyway, totally off topic, sorry about that. Um, Rubico Prime, here's my build. It's not absolutely optimal. This serration is only rank eight out of 10. Oh my God, our legendary rank player doesn't have max serration. <laughs> what is going on? Um, Vigilante Supplies gives us a chance for red crits. Hammer Shot is probably the most expensive mod in this loadout, apart from Amalgam Serration, which is event-based, but you don't really need. Primary Frostbite, because we can't proc the other Arcanes from kills, because we're not really killing anything in an Eidolon hunt. But we are getting cold status procs. Doesn't really do a huge amount, but you will see, like, realistically, 5 stacks, 10 stacks, so plus 30% crit damage, plus, I can't count, 22.5% <laughs> multi-shot, let's say, Right, so what you want to do, especially if you don't have Vastilock and you aren't proccing Shattering Impact, you want to use Radiation. Radiation does bonus damage to armored targets. But as I showed you, you can get the armor down with a, just a few shots and the Vastilock. Critical Delay to go over 100% crit chance. If you use Point Strike instead, you won't quite be poo. <laughs> That's a poo by mistake. You won't quite be at the required amount if you go for point strike instead of poo strike. <laughs> You'll be 95%. And that 5% might seem like a tiny amount. And the uh, fire rate might seem attractive. Or Riven might seem attractive. <laughs> Rivens are good. But guaranteed crits are what you want because you have a small chance to get a white hit on a bad moment and that can really slow down your run like Gantilist spawns this giant energy shield around himself and does like insane amounts of knockbacks for like 10 seconds 20 seconds and if you're a new and inexperienced squad or solo player god forbid then yeah, that can screw you up. So that's why I do recommend critical delay. You do shoot fast enough anyway, three times per second. Yeah, invest in this. Enough said, enough said, enough said. Don't use galvanized mods for Eidolon hunting. Use them if you want for um, actual like 
endurance or, or kill missions or whatever. Yeah, Sharpshoot is super nice. We'll feature that in the build of the week with Frost and Co. Your secondary is irrelevant. Some people used to run Euphona Prime back in the day. Rosime comes to mind. So here we have our Vastalock build. We're running Bullet Dance, technically High Noon. If you can manage it with the high attack speed, would be better. But Saxon Thorax to increase your impact. Status proc chance to proc shattering impact. The reason Vastalock basically instantly armor strips is because there's a weird interaction with this mod and impact status and firing nine bullets at a time. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know. Stick some attack speed mods on if you don't have Prime Fury. Use Quickening and Gladiator Vice or use Quickening and Normal Fury or basically any speed mod except Berserker Fury because as mentioned, we're not getting kills. Quickening recommended. Um, rest of the stuff is just like utility and damage that's not actually used in this mode. The most important things, or I should say two of the most important things, Mad Arrive with Void Strike. You probably already know this by now. You get 1000% additional damage, so 10 times damage. And Void Fuel also gives you more amp shots. The way bounds give you more amp shots and so on. Um, you get some more amp damage on transferring into operator for 20 seconds. Don't be in your operator for longer than that. Switch in and out of operator every 20 seconds, good habit. Phoenix Talons gives you plus 30% physical damage. Not sure how exactly how that scales, but it does give you a nice damage boost. Contamination Wave not used, Chain Sling, Sling Strength. Sling Strength can be used, wouldn't advise it, too much micromanagement in general. And I did say two things, so here is the second thing that's really important. On your pet, and I advise a Panzer Volpapila or a relatively tanky pet, and Trinity will make any pet that's relatively tanky, super tanky, yeah. Use this mod, which I just hid <laughs> by accident, sorry, here it is, <laughs> Tenacious Bond. Ignore the first part, right? Second part, if the companion's critical strike chance is over 50%, then you gain 1.2 times final critical damage multiplier. Essentially 120% permanent crit damage multiplier. That's an entire mod or basically a riven's worth of extra damage on not just your sniper or your melee or anything, but all your weapons all the time, including exalted weapons. Super good. Then this is to refer general use again, heavy attacks increase companion damage, multiplied by combo multiplier amount. Momentous bond, you can res your companion super duper freaking fast. Just kill some Eximus, its res timer is reduced by 18 seconds per Eximus killed. Rest of this stuff, Prime Pack Leader and Hunter Recovery. That's not really for Trinity, but for general use. Yeah. Hard pet to get. Super worth it, though. Best pet. If you have this fox babe, you don't need any other pet. So that, is, that just about covers everything for the gear. I do have keybinds for these pizzas, as I like to call them. Basically only ever really need to use squad energy. Sometimes to not get one shot or two shot, use a squad shield restore or health restore in a bad situation. If you've been using ammo efficiently, kind of nice to have that too. Uh, I didn't show and I didn't mention, but you can use Necromex and Volt Shields to great effect. Just shoot through the Volt Shield with your Arcobec, so the normal Necromech, the Void Rig, and you will insta-gib the limbs without even having to aim. Sick trick. Sick trick. Um, yeah, I, I really believe that covers everything, right? 
Um, I mean, I don't need to show you the void rig build. I can just show you a really basic Archibex build, but not going to explain any of that. So, uh, very last thing, use Itzal and use Cosmic Crush. I didn't do this in the run, but Cosmic Crush vacuums all the loot to you within like a huge radius. You see 140 meters, like normal Warframe radius is something like 20 meters. Dante has like buffed or like with range mods, 70 meters. This thing, no range increase, 140 meters. So you, you vacuum everything to yourself and you also freeze the Vomvilus and like the enemies in general. Really, really useful. Um, rest of the stuff, not really so needed. You can stealth yourself while you're capping a lure. Can be nice to not get thrown out of your Arcwing. Yeah, so really hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you. All the best to you in your Eidolon hunting career, as it were. And see you around, Tenno. See you around. Where is my, where is my wave? I don't have my wave. No, we, we're just going to have to hit him with the Steel Path Void emote and the Hercules kind of gesture. Not a Hitler salute at all. No, okay, that was politically incorrect and totally inappropriate. Please don't ban me, DE. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. All the best to you. Um, I do not approve of Nazism in any way. That was just um, my kind of weird association and uh, Tourette's and uh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, no, the only um, sort of violence I propagate is, is against Eidolons and NPCs. <laughs> just to set that super clear <laughs> <laughs> all right see ya